Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these large lacy super do earrings. They're easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure you will be able to make them by yourself and you could always ask me anything in the comments. If you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting the bell button because in this way you will be notified when I make new tutorials usually twice a week and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. And I have a similar bracelet and I'll link it here at the eye icon to see. That is why it's a good idea to subscribe but if you're not new here you could definitely skip this intro because I have timestamps but I have just a few words to say down there in description you will find the full list of materials link to my store link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see your creations mainly on my Facebook and Instagram pages and thank to all of you that like share and comment you don't know how much of a support this is thank you so much and you could check my second channel with the fast clips thank you so much for watching now I will start with the list of the materials okay guys so what I'm using here for this video are 11 on seed beads in light green color here I use 8 o beads in white color and these are also super dual beads in light green and in white color and I'm also using third color which is purple and here I'm using monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters don't use soft nylon thread for this work this is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are flat nose pliers that are not obligatory but I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads okay and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle or even a little bit more than an arm span and I'll be back what I'm going to pick up now guys are super dues divided by 10 or 11 or seed beads okay here I have a white super dew and an 11 or seed bead then I'm taking a purple super dew and 11 o seed bead. Okay, then again a white super dew and an 11 o seed bead. Then again a purple super dew and 11 o seed bead. And I will continue these guys until I have 10 white super dews and 10 purple super dues divided by those beautiful light green 11 o's. Okay, I will continue and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and what I have here are 20 super dues divided by 11 o seed beads, and half of them are white, half of them are purple. So I have 10 white, 10 purple divided by this beautiful 11 o green super dose okay and now i'm going to slide those down i will stick my needle in my mat and here what i want to do is make a knot and how i make my knot really carefully i take my tail thread and i go around several times here around my loop i mean and i pull and then just to be sure it's all tight and secure, I will make one more knot. But when you make this knot, make sure that your loop is between the two beads where you started your knot from and then pull. Okay. Now I have this beautiful loop of super dues and 11 o seed beads. Okay, and I will go in this direction just a little bit more in order to make the perfect circle. Now guys, as I'm exiting through this white bead here, through this white super dew, you see I'm exiting of the inner hole of this white super dew, I'm going to go through its outer hole or empty hole. And now I'm changing directions by zigzagging through it. 
Now, I prefer to flip my work in this direction because it was always easier for me to go in this direction as I'm right-handed. If you want, you could go in the other direction. And now I'm going to take one green super duo and I'm going through the empty hole of my next super duo, which is purple. Then again, another green, go through the white, then another green, go through the purple. And this row is really easy and really pleasant, guys, because you only add green super dues between those beautiful super dues in the first row. Okay, I will continue this and I'll meet you here. Okay, guys, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last green super do and i have this beautiful circle of beads now you see how beautiful it looks and now what i want to do is go through one of those green super do's through its inner hole and then change direction by going through its outer hole okay now i'm here you see and i'm going to take a green seed bead an a a white a and a green 11 -0. Okay, this is what I have on my needle, you see. And as I'm exiting through this green super duo here, I'm going back in circle through its empty outer hole, just like this. And now I have this beautiful edge here. Then I go through the green backwards through the inner hole then through the purple and through the inner hole of the next green you see now i go through its empty hole like this and i take a green a white and a green and i go back like this Okay, then through the green, white, green. Okay, then here through the outer hole of this green. And I'm going to take again a green, a white, and a green. Go back like this. And this is the thing I'm going to be doing, guys, until the end. Until all of my green beads get this beautiful edge here at the end. I know it's a lot of work, but it's worth it at the end, I promise. Okay, and this is the last step I'm showing you. Continue by yourself until the end. If you forgot how I'm doing something, just rewind. See how I'm doing this part. And you will be ready to go. Okay, meet you here. Okay, guys, and here I am at my last step, at my last super do, where I'm adding those three beads in circle. You see, like adding a loop here. And now... What I want to do is go in this direction. Now I'm exiting through the white bit at the top. Then I want to exit through this green, like this. Like this. And then through the following green here, but in the other direction. Just like this, you see, then backwards to this green, and one more time through this one. Okay, in this way, I make a new thread path and I connect those green beads together, I make them stay solid and not move around. You see, now they're moving around. But when I make this new 
connection here they will stay nice and tight together okay and continue this until the end and i'll meet you here okay and here i am guys where i need to connect my last two seed beads from this row and i will show you one more time how i'm doing it going through the white going through one of the beads going through the other and then going backwards to make the loop and the join between them to make them stay in a nice shape okay now what i want to do for my next row is go out of this white bead and as i'm exiting here i'm going to take a purple super do slide it down just like this then i'm going to take three super do's after that uh three uh seed beads after that sorry slide those down as well now i have this and now what i do is that i go through the other empty hole of this super do and through the next white bead you see where my needle goes through the empty hole of this super do and through the other white bead and when i pull guys and fix my work a little bit i have this i have this beautiful edge of my work now i will show you two more times and then let you do this by yourself a super do purple one three green 11 o's and slide those down like this okay then i go through the empty hole of this super do and through the white and then I gently pull my work and I'll show you one more time purple super do and three seed beads okay slide down okay turn this in this direction and go through its empty hole and through the other white okay then when I pull I have this okay guys and I'm going to continue this until the end if you forgot how I'm doing it just rewind the video and see how I do these three steps and repeat them everywhere until the end see you in a while okay guys and I'm here at my last step where I'm adding my last super do and seed beads from this row and now additional step that you could do to make this edge look better is to go and reinforce this last row okay how i do this i just go around those beads like this with my thread okay i'll show you one more time i just repeat the thread pad that i created in my previous step okay and off camera guys i will continue reinforcing this edge and when i'm ready i'll be back to tell you how to attach your earring finding okay guys and i reinforced my work around the edges you could do it even two times if you want and here is my earring finding and i'm going to take one seed bead then my earring finding then one more seed bead and as i'm exiting here through this bead i'm going back in circle through it and i want to reinforce this joint several times okay and when i'm ready 
I will go through some beads in this direction and I'm going to make a knot and how I do this I make here a loop and I go once then I go second time through the loop I've made I pull then I go through the following seed bead and I cut my thread and you could repeat this knot several times when you're ready go through the following seed bead and cut your thread and as I told you you could go around the edge even two times if you feel once is not enough to make those beads stays in a better shape okay and now my lacy super duo earring is ready okay guys and now my large lacy super duo earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when i make new tutorials usually twice a week and you will be inspired often you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is down there in description you will find the full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials i will be expecting your pictures on my facebook and instagram pages i will be so happy to see them you could also check my second channel with the fast clips thank you so much for watching bye bye from me